What are y'all doing there? What is that? This is the masa, and it's got lard and salt and baking soda. So we're just mixing in the lard. Baking powder. Baking powder. What well, gives it the, the brown? Dad added some seasoning. And the, the meat, y'all been cooking the, these are out of pork butts? Yeah. Did you bake them, smoke them? Um, we, in a roaster. That's we you. just cooked them in a roaster. We didn't smoke them or anything. We prefer the tamales not to be smoked. <laughs> Sneezy? <laughs> Well, you just shred all that, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> and it really, I mean, it wouldn't, don't have enough nerve, but put it through a grinder where you get it fine. Well, it seemed like all the ones I've ate have been shredded. It's kind of shredded, yeah. yeah. Well, until what you ate. Oh, they have several different kinds. Looks like a bone. Is that the bone? Shouldn't be. Unless it's that little knob. Come here. Swiss meat. Yes, yeah. One bird in. Um. Did you go into it? It's an annual deal. And I hadn't uh, talked. I hadn't. I just started. Y'all yeah. started working, so I started filming. Okay. I talked about it being an annual deal, but it got kind of put off. Yeah. <clears throat> but it, I mean, this has kind of been. I don't. I, I guess I've. I've only been here one time when y'all done this. Usually we do it around Christmas time, and we've been doing it. Not that we're very good at it, but we've been doing it for 10 years or more. We're not any better now than what we were 10 years ago. <laughs> not not but that. But yes, we are. They taste better. <laughs> we have learned that how to get them out of the shucks. <laughs> well, I'll tell you all what, you know, we've, we've, we've asked a lot of our Hispanic friends, and uh, I don't think we're supposed to be doing this. Uh, <clears throat> we we've had to find some some tricks that uh, that is not notable. I mean, it's it's not passed down. One is uh, that masa Cheryl is working up. Uh, it's got a tremendous amount of lard in it. And now, is it? Let me ask you: Is it is it a grain base? Is, I mean, is it like ground ground corn? Yeah, it's flour. A, or, I mean, what is? It? You can you can buy that in a sack, just like cornmeal. But it's powder. It's, it's, it's grounded corn. from something. Yeah, it, it's, it's corn. Really, it's corn. It's corn masa. Okay. But I've we found to take a shortcut is to go to the local Mexican meat market and buy it already mixed. Moist. Yeah, mixed up. mixed up, and then we just add lard and Is salt. <laughs> I don't hear. Well, if somebody wants a full pork taco. Well, yeah, just leave that pan right there. I think we have enough that we want to do anyway. This is a Boston butt. It's a, probably. On your, on your show, Pig Eleanor, that's where the, above the front <laughs> shoulder, that's where he, that would come from. On Wilbur. <laughs> on your <Pig>. pet Wilbur. <laughs> It's probably one of the most versatile pieces of meat that you can buy at a grocery store. You can barbecue it. People barbecue it. They make barbecued uh, full of pork sandwiches. Well, and it was a very cheap cut of meat until all these these barbecue shows came on and started talking, how great it is. talking about how great it is and the versatility of it. And then all of a sudden, it's it's instead of seventy nine cents a pound, it's two seventy nine a pound. 
But you buy it well, with, on sale for nine months. But you can't buy it on sale. Jeff does either. a wonderful job on making full part tacos. But those are smoked, right? He chops up. Oh yeah, they're, they're cooked in a smoker. Cilantro and onions and put slime juice over it. And then you put that on your... It's like a street taco. Meat in your little shell. That the uh, cumin we bought. Let me do that. Your hands free me. Oh, yeah. Me. What about it? I need it. When do you get to? You want me to do this? Yeah. What is that? This is uh, chili powder. Secret. It's a mix. It, it's 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 Maxine brand chili powder, and uh, that's the only the only kind we'll use. And I can only find it on Amazon. It's funny how that works. Makes good chili, too. But the lady told us that the two little secrets we found out in the last year, for two years, is putting a lot of lard in that, in that masa. <clears throat> and you're supposed to be able to make a little bitty ball, like a marble-sized ball, and stick it in a glass of water, drop it in a glass of water, and you know you've got enough lard when it floats. And we tried that, what, two years ago? Last <laughs> year, sure, you and I tried it. And uh, that was I, what I did at the float. Uh, we, we backed out, we chickened out every. I'm putting it, that's good. And, and that was cumin. If you watched my previous videos, we've had a conversation about cumin before. The, a little goes a long ways. A little goes a long ways. It's the difference between chili and tacos. That's almost like sausage making. And I'll tell you right now, it's, you know, it's like we did that little deal on the garden. City people raising the garden think they're going to save money. If you can buy a tamale for less than $5 a piece, <laughs> you probably need to do that. And I think you can buy them for a dollar. <laughs> it's a lot cheaper to go to Kroger and buy, buy them in the freezer section. But anyway, if... If you buy one of our tamales, it'll run you close to twelve, fifteen dollars each. <laughs> Not a dozen. <laughs> For one. <laughs> For one. <clears throat> I thought you were gonna hold the camera. I don't feel like it. Huh? I don't feel like it. Well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See a spike in the <laughs> sound bar right yeah. there. <laughs> You know, January, the, or just the 30th. 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 You shouldn't have to worry about ice. You do if you live in Texas. You're looking at the next weekend, and you won't have to worry about it. 20 at night. Oh, I gotta get some firewood in. What bucket do I need to put firewood in? We got those black trays. I'll get it. The uh, second little deal we found out is that these corn husks have got a rough side and a smooth side. And sometimes it's hard to figure out which one's which. But this is a smoother side than the other side, and this is the side you want to use to put your moss on. Another little trick. You put the masa on the smooth side? Yeah. And it'll come out easier. Main thing is getting enough lard in there. And I don't, you know, we could do the floating thing, but I, I can tell you right now, it's not going to work. We don't have enough nerve to make it work. At least kind of like making a quesadilla, it don't take near as much as you think it does to, no. to make one. And yeah. And once they go from here, they go to the steamer. 
Yeah, we'll yeah. collect a few of them and then we'll go to the steamer and let them steam. And then we'll see how our process went <laughs> to see if it's, we've got enough stuff. Enough meat or too much meat. I can't feel with these gloves on. I've had that argument for a long time. We did have visitors earlier. They thought we already had them done. And they didn't act like they were willing to help. <laughs> I think the washing your hands got them. That's, that scared them off? But I think they would like to, they wanted to try them. They, they wanted to be taste testers. They, they thought we were short on the taste testing. Yes. They and there are a place for those kind of people. I think of that lard in there, I think it'd be nah, like that. there's a right and a wrong, I'm telling you. It's an old thing about a greased string through a goose. Maybe that's not an old saying. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Run a green string through a goose. You know the. Yeah, that's pretty slick. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Yeah, he wasn't sure if that's an old saying or not. But he... <laughs> <laughs> I think you just made that up. You just made it up right here. <laughs> it's, it's well documented. <laughs> What are you set inside this pot over here? What? It's water. Well, I know that. But, but how? It just sits in, on top in that grate. The steamer basket. The what? The grate keeps them from going into the water. Okay. Great. Great. We're making Mexican food, but we're getting ready for Mardi Gras. If that makes any sense. Speaking of stories, <clears throat> Jeff and I was talking about those snow skiing trips we took. Mm, that's a bad deal. And uh, how good the breakfast was because we was making. That's pretty big. We was making um, bacon. Had, bacon at the time. Cured bacon all the time, didn't we? Yeah. Shoulder. And that, you know, and I was. Telling everybody how good it was. Of course, one thing led to another, and we told a story or two. And <clears throat> the story that that uh, I think you're famous for, Cheryl, was the famous uh, ski lift story. No, she's not with us anymore. Is she not? Mm -hmm. Well, there was this young lady that. It was a friend of Cheryl's, and we took her snow skiing, and Cheryl and this, this friend. friend was... <clears throat> Grade school friend. Yeah, yeah. Was, was riding a ski lift, and uh, bef right before you get off the ski lift... We were about three seats before. There's two things you need to do, or that most people do. One is... They, there's, there's a, an amount of powder on top of your skis, <laughs> and you click those skis together. Uh, and, there's no place like home. <laughs> and, the, and the powder falls to the ground as, a, as a, loose, a loose powder. And you scooch up a little bit on yeah. the edge of the seat. And then, then you get ready to disembark. Is that a word? Yep. And, uh, you, you scoot up on the seat, and uh, I'll let Cheryl take over. <laughs> so my friend scooted a little too far, <laughs> and she fell straight down and landed like a frog in the <laughs> snow. <laughs> and all I heard was, whoa! <laughs> but, but you were looking off, and you were talking to her. Yeah, she, I heard this, whoa! And she was down below in the snow drift. And the little guy, there was probably two chairs in front of us trying to unload, or about to unload. And the little guy comes running out of the hut 
And he's laughing about to pee in his pants, I think. <laughs> and he's like, I've never seen this before. <laughs> I thought she was fixing to talk about the time we got up there and got the thunder and lightning. Oh. <laughs> up there. And we had to go down the Black Diamond? And That's I, when she was so mad at you. We didn't have to. <laughs> no, we did. We couldn't see six foot. If we had COVID distances, we never found one another. I mean, the six foot was... You, could, you, you, you couldn't see, could you? And there's that popcorn snow was just, just soft hail. And I got up there and knew we was in trouble. Were we in Taos? Uh, yeah, we was top of the mountain in Taos. Which Taos is harder than Red River anyway, in general. Yeah, it's got some good stuff on it. So anyway, we... I had a little powwow with the kids and I said, you know, we can't... You pulled can't. a map out. Yeah, I pulled a map out and I said, you know, we... This is where we're going. This is where we're going. We're going to go down here. And, we, and everybody stop, and we'll holler and get the gang back up. And uh, I don't know, like I said, you know, the, back then we had Dukes of Hazard on the TV, and <laughs> I gave the okay that everybody understood, you know, we was going to go down there and meet up and start hollering. And I heard this Dukes of Hazard holler. Jeff headed off down the mountain. <laughs> what was it? He <laughs> and what we seen last of him. <laughs> we, well, we won't ever see him again. Yeah, and I'm and 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 he went down a black. Couldn't see six foot in front of you. And then um, we had we Cheryl back there. And all we had to do was we just had to follow him. Yeah. Cheryl said, "But Dad, it's black. I we can't ski that." Cheryl, we don't have a choice. <laughs> I don't know how far it is from the top of. Uh, <laughs> Taos Mountain, but Cheryl and I slid <laughs> a lot of it, most of it. Well, all that stuff, we learned how to ski on ice. Like, we really didn't ski on snow. And no poles. And no poles. You did. I, you, I had poles. I, I never got any. Probably a good thing. I might not have impaled somebody. <laughs> it's probably a good thing they, they didn't give me any poles. I thought you were going to tell that story about how that alfalfa Well, he, that got on the, the bacon. Did the bacon it? video. I just I remember so. Cheryl was ready to strangle me by the time she got to the bottom of the mountain. Oh, he no, she that. was ready to kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's, she wasn't going to strangle me. She's going to kill me. <laughs> that's why I don't do a concealed handgun permits to <laughs> kids at that, that age. She, she shot you dead. I feel like that was just time to terrorize me on the slopes because... He, that was also the, was that the same year when we were all lined up at the bottom of the <laughs> Blue Hill? Uh, in front there, of the Chateau? I thing? think that was the first time I'd been that year that happened. I think when we were on Taos, I think that was like the second or third year I'd ever been. We were all standing there kind of half moon. Yeah, you could have. It worked out perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, just gonna, I was going to spray every one of y'all with snow. And we heard this, woo. Is what we heard. <laughs> and, and he flew. Wiped us all out, didn't he? Yeah. From <laughs> one end, and we went down like dominoes. Kind of like a bowling ball. Yes. Well, we, we were in a circle talking, you know, like you do. And we're like, oh, y'all like, oh, that's Jeff, how cute. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down the mountain without any poles. And, and he doing so good. He's doing so good. <laughs> straight down the mountain. Look how fast he's going. 150 mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it, he, he got inside the circle somewhere. I guess he knocked somebody down and got inside the circle. I'm sure they tripped me. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> and he just he just went around in a circle, a couple of circles, and the we time was all, all over. We, we were all knocked, knocked down. <laughs> we were all down. He jumped up. Went and got back on the lid. Bring him over here. What's we well, already opened not, him up. He's, he's not quite ready. Still. But, you know, it, they're going to be okay. Can you wrap him back up and put him in there? No, he, in? you can eat him. He's can done. Eat he's done. He's just not. Looks kind of slimy. That's the way you want him to be to come out of that show. I thought it was kind of hard. 
It's got a good flavor to it. Is it really? That masa, right, right the masa does. They're for sale. No, they're not. <laughs> How long have these been going now? You know, I forgot to look at the time. I don't know. Well, it's been well over an hour, ain't it? I don't know. Probably. It probably has, but they ought to be nearly ready. It's an all-purpose seasoning, Jeff. I think it's kind of like season, you know how season salt? Yeah. Garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, salt, pepper, and sometimes dried citrus. <laughs> Cheryl back there? No. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear peaches. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> many more. <laughs> These used to squeal. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> but he didn't make a wish. What? Smoke the lawn. Here's a present from everybody. Oh, thanks. Don't tomorrow, I'm going to bully him a little bit. Right there. He'll be traumatized. <clears throat> no, throw your advice. Oh, is a birthday present something to clean with? Yeah. That's Everybody pretty. Want something to clean with. For the pretty birthday. big of us. And a patio shield. That'll be good. On our new patio. Hmm? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. That one's a lantern. That's a little different than what Leanne and I have. Yeah, but this is the mosquito shield. Mom said it's but said it's birthday, so. We got to have tamales and <laughs> cake and stuff. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's the movie, doesn't he? Every, I noticed that every, every YouTube video. Wait, he gets up from a nap, he does this. <laughs> really? Yes. That's what I do when I get up from a nap? Ball, and then you this. Scratch my back. Thank y'all very much. All right, well, we got those tamales made. Sorry y'all couldn't eat any of them or enjoy any of them um but it's the way it goes sometimes uh they were very good and look forward to eating them some more we got plenty left over they've been vacuum packaged and ready for our uh eating pleasure for the near future but i got a little experiment i'm gonna do i got some sausage that dad and i made my wife made pretzels the other night and the dough had a really really good flavor so i'm going to experiment with the dough and basically make a sausage in a blanket using the, the pretzel dough and and, and I'm, i am going to try uh, once they're made once a couple are made up to put them in the the boiling water with the baking soda like you do a pretzel and then baking it and then i'm gonna do it without doing that and baking it and, and seeing what the difference is might be good on a pretzel bun like that that sausage in there uh, just something to, to do and if it works out be watching for a video and maybe we can talk my wife into debuting on the muddy feet tv maybe it's a long shot but we got winter weather moving in we got a little bit of ice on stuff we got more ice coming um but hopefully everybody be safe and um we'll get through this together in the meantime we're gonna put you up some more muddy feet tv videos also muddy feet concrete pumping you can look up right here watch some concrete pumping stuff i think it's starting to snow um uh, yeah so be looking for that we appreciate it and as always stay safe stay hydrated and be nice to one another it's